Peace and balance guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Yannick. So today guys, I wanted to do a video on how to create a subliminally healthy environment for yourself and the family. If you watch my video prior to this one, um, which is called um, You're Being Mentally Vandalized, um, you will see the correlation of how I speak about um, things that's been done subliminally, that's constantly speaking to your mind, that's constantly suggesting behaviours to you, that's constantly suggesting feelings and you know kind of shaping your reality and um, I just wanted to touch on how you can kind of um, shape your own environment to kind of you know subliminally speak to your mind and tell it the things that you want it, want to tell it instead of you know the things that the outside world keeps telling you and keep dictating to you and how you, how you should feel how you should move um, you know and just what you need to be thinking about in any space and any time so i just want to like suggest to you like certain things that i do in my household to um subliminally like remind myself and my children um of positive things and just things that i want to tell myself things that i want to feel um on a daily basis thing is like we're living a self-sabotaging life because we have no true knowledge of self you know and um a lot of the fight is is spiritual it's mental it's psychological and if you're not cognizant of this like you're losing you're losing already you know you, you we're not fighting we're no longer fighting against um you know physical um flesh and blood but you know it's about fighting against principalities and powers and that's what these people are using you know just spiritual um psyops and you know dark psychology and a lot of mind control and a lot of hypnosis mass hypnosis as well so you know if you're not cognizant of these things like you're losing and you don't even know like you're acting in ways that you think that it's your own behavior or decision and you don't even know that is residual of the programming is residual of the things that's been suggested to your mind is residual of you know the mass hypnosis that's going on right now see your body is your vessel you know your vehicle that is used to express your spirit or your energy and these people have tapped into that essence, you know, because your spirit drives your body. Your body takes commands from your spirit. And they've tapped into that essence of what's driving you physically. And they're doing like a lot of this manipulation to that energy force within you, that spirit force within you. And essentially they're driving your being. Essentially you have their mind. Essentially you don't think really for yourself. Essentially you don't feel how you feel. All of these stuff are being told because you've been hijacked um, and they do this daily, 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 daily. Every time you log on social media, it's been done. Every time you turn the music on, every time you turn the news on, every time you go out and you look at billboards or you're on YouTube and an ad pop up, it's part of the hypnosis, it's part of the mental and spiritual hijack, it's part of the subliminals and the suggestives that's been told to your physical being of what to enact out or what to do, what to feel, um, all that stuff. And a lot of this is metaphysics and metaphysics deals with spirit, you know, so a lot of this is outside of your sensory perception and awareness. So uh, a, a lot of the time they're tapping into the programmable part of your brain. Your brain is like a computer. It can be programmed, um, you know, and that's the part of you that they, they're tapping into and kind of constantly giving you cues constantly giving you subliminal messages and it's done with using like many different things it's done using sounds visuals colors smells like <laughs> this is crazy guys it's just like these people know how it is like for instance you know when you smell a certain thing sometimes you can associate it back to a certain memory or a certain time they use a lot of this even like even when you go out in the shops you ever just go out in the shops and you find yourself there you went to buy one thing and you just want to spend 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 it's the music they have on it's the the pictures and the images they have around the the things that say in sale and buy me and your kind of association with sale being you're saving money so you went you go buy that even though you didn't need it this is so deep it's it's so much to it um but you know as i said your brain is like a computer that's why they say show me the child at seven and i'll show you the man why because the first seven years of a child's life they spend 
downloading information they spent absorbing everything from the environment people's behavior um just everything that they know they don't remember they come here with you know only what's pre-coded in their dna but then when before from zero to seven they spend those seven years they say when the brain's in like uh i think it's better like a, a stage where it's absorbing it's like that stage where you're easily hypnotized that that's where the, the kid's brain is in from zero to seven and they're downloading all the information from their environment that's why it's never a good idea to sit your child in front of a tv and just let, letting the tv raise them because i guarantee you that child's going to grow up programmed and probably not with what you want them to be programmed with because there's so much subliminals in those cartoons there's so much suggestives in those cartoons so remember your subconscious mind is like a recorder it's recording everything i think i actually did a video on um, your conscious and subconscious mind if i did i will link it below remember it's like a recorder that's just like you know like that child that from zero to seven like that's just like a recorder that's just recording everything in their environment and this is why you have perpetuated behaviors and generational curses um, because if the environment um don't change what the child perceives and see it's not going to change so they're going to come back and repeat same behaviors and stuff so because your subconscious mind is like a recorder you want to appeal to that part of your mind in your home and in your environment so you want to put positive cues and subliminal cues in everything you bring in your home in what you listen to in what you eat in your wall arts in the books in just like um i'll give you some things that i do in my home um for instance right so like i know how my subconscious mind works right and i know that music music controls you subliminally and um, subconsciously and so does imagery so this is why a lot of the you the young youth who listen to a lot of this aggressive um trap and hip-hop music they have this kind of energy about them that's in the music so like for instance so my son you know who went through his angry teenage stage um one of the things i do in my home i'm very cognizant about the music i play around my children i don't play vulgar music stripper strip club music so my daughter listens to that and I don't play like angry, um, you know, kind of violent music for my son. I'm very selective about what I play in my house. So like he went through his phase where he was like an angry teen. Um, when I wake up in the morning, I used to put that Janae trigger protection mantra on. And I used to play it on repeat, on repeat. And all she's saying in that mantra is calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. I'm protected, calm down. And I used to just play that over and over. But... I know what I was doing. I'm appealing to his subconscious mind. He's not like actively listening to it, but his subconscious mind is hearing it and it's telling him to calm down. So that's one of the things I do um, subliminally um, in my home to create a healthy environment is the type of music I play. I listen to the message of the music. Um, it's usually either lo-fi, calming music, mellow music, music to just keep your vibration chilled. Um, so that's one of the things I do. Another thing I do is, um, in terms of food, I make sure I buy lots of healthy food in my house. I'm not one of them parents that push on my children um, what they should eat. I believe in leading by example because with children is they'll often um, emulate you more than listen to what you're saying. So you have to model the behavior that you want to show up in your children. Like for instance, I see parents all the time tell their children, oh, you shouldn't smoke or you shouldn't drink. But on this other hand, they're there smoking and drinking in front of that child. When you're smoking and drinking in front of that child, that child's subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between self and other. It just sees smoking. So mentally they're smoking too. And eventually they'll find that they're just doing this as well because they've witnessed it so much. They start to enact that behavior. That's the power of your mind. So what I do in terms of like with my children, I inform them, like I'll say like, you know, too much of this is not good or that's better for that. But then I, I let them make a choice. But then what they observe of me is they see me making the positive choice. They see me making the right choice. And I know eventually that will kick in for them. So, you, you know, like I buy them what they want. If they want their chicken, I'll make it for them. Whatever it is, I'll make it for them. But I let them see me like waking up in the morning, making smoothies, like making juicing making you know fresh juice with fruits and vegetables and like my son he he emulates me like now he gets up in the morning and he makes a smoothie for breakfast you know th this is the power of your mind this is the power of understanding the subconscious and you know how to use subliminal cues to, to steer your behavior and to steer your energy 
So those are two examples. So think about the music you're playing in your home. Think about the types of food um, that you want to see, you know, your children eating and that's the type of food you're bringing in and you're doing it yourself. So you're modeling the behavior for them as the, the, the parent, the guardian, the exemplar in your house. Um, I also like, you know, use a lot of sensory stuff. So like when I wake up in the mornings, um, sometimes I'll burn sage or I'll burn incense or I'll burn um, essential oils that has specific properties. Like for instance, if I want my household to be calm, I'll put some lavender oil in the oil burner and I'll just burn lavender oil or sandalwood or if I want my house grounded and just chilled, like I'll select specific essential oils or use something like sage just to bring the energy down in the house. All of this is controlling you energetically all of this is steering you it's kind of you, your sense of smell um kind of gives you a sense of feeling you know you you smell something and it just makes you feel a certain way or it just brings a certain warmth to you so you know creating a subliminal healthy environment you have to think about all your senses and appease to those another thing i do with my children is um, I get them and myself like we write our affirmations like things that we want to work on within ourselves, and everybody like stick them on the back of their door in their room and they recite them you know I get them to recite them ever so often if I see they're, they're like dipping in a low place um, I usually try to get them to do it daily but that's not always like achievable but like if I see them getting into a, like a certain state of mind I'll get them to recite them their affirmations so when they wake up in their room they're constantly seeing positive statement about themselves like the type of posters and images i bring in my home is positive ones the ornaments i choose is like buddhas stuff that represents peace tranquility like i'm very selective about everything that i have in my environment i always make sure that it's suggesting something of peace protection positivity um, you know things that I want to see in my children. I always make sure that their environment is reflecting that and also think about colors Colors have a lot to do with the psyche If you wake up and you feel very, you know, like frantic one day put some put something blue on Blue is a color that just calms your energy Naturally if you wake up and you want to create and you know you I don't know lost your creative juice put something orange on put something yellow on like, you know, I use colors as well in this. Um, and I also incorporate it in the food. Like foods they and fruits, they have different colors for a reason. Like colors carry different vibration. They emit a certain different kind of energy um, that can be used and utilized to tap into the different um, aspects of you um, physically and spiritually. Another thing I do is I keep a lot of plants around my house. I think I have plants in every single room. And in my children's rooms, I put plants in them. And I, I don't know if you know about libation, but like I do libation with my plants where I pour water on them and I set intentions in them. Um, like for instance, like when my son went through like a wilding out phase, I'll water the plant in his room all the time. And I'll, you know, I'll speak to the plant. I'll like send him nurturing energy, like send him uplifting energy. And it might sound weird, but like guys, you have to really tap into life. Like you have to really know what's going on. Um, like I'll, I'll, I'll speak to the plant as I pour water libation on it and I'll say you know send them nurturing energy send them positive energy I remember I did it one time specifically right and he was we was going through something um, and he was wilding out you know going through his teenage wild out phase and you know I watered the plant in his room and I was like you know send him nurturing energy you know um, all of that and then the next day I was laying in my room and he was playing music loud in his room and I just heard him like vibing out and he was just reading his affirmation loud and he was like, I love myself, I'm confident, blah, blah, blah. And I was just laying in my bed like, wow, like that is crazy. How I did that the day before and he woke up the next day on this vibe and I had to go around there and I just had to give him a hug. I'm like, I'm so proud of you. And he's like, mom, you don't know how good that felt just saying that. And I'm like, yes, you know, I say give thanks, give thanks to the most I, the ancestors. But yeah, you know, so you want to create an environment like that's healthy for yourself and your children. And this is why people do a lot of mood boards as well, like put stuff on there that they want. Um, you have to live this, you know, you can't just sit down and think it and wish it. You have to incorporate it in your daily life. So think about your sensories, think about your senses and brings things in your home like for instance um 
I normally put books beside my children's beds <laughs> and these books usually have specific messages on them like my son like he went through his smoking phase I put a book on his bed and the title of the book it says stop smoking he might not read it but like every time he looks at that book next to his bed it says stop smoking these are subliminal cues your reality is doing this to you on a daily basis tap into the exact same science and counteract it and use it for a positive um kind of spin and that's what I do in my home, you know, I, I, everything I do in my home is very intentional. I'm very intentional about colours, sounds, music, foods, everything. You know, like, I can't control what goes on on the outside, but I know what I'm cultivating on the inside. And that's peace, um, that's protection, that's raising children, righteous um, and conscious and with a positive and strong mind. And I cultivate that in my home. So, you know... Create your subliminal healthy environment by thinking about all your five senses and incorporate things that appease to those five senses um, in a very positive way. So your smells, your, what you eat, your visuals, you know, just everything. So um, yeah, like these are the things I do in my home. Um, and you know, I, I hope you can take something from this or if you even like have any ideas of anything, you can drop it. In the comment section i love to hear what other people are doing especially on topics that i speak about i like to you know you know hear other people's perspectives so feel free to drop it in a comment and just remember parents or adults you know people who's the head of the household that you're the example are like you have to set the precedence you have to set the tone for the behaviors the children are mimicking you there's no use you telling them don't do this don't do that when you're doing it don't shout don't shout you tell your, ch your child don't shout but you're shouting they're going to model your behavior that's how that works so um i hope this was helpful guys and those are some of my tips of how to create a subliminally ugh, how to create a subliminally healthy environment for you your children your family don't forget to like subscribe drop me a comment relate to this video or drop me an affirmation they're always welcome and appreciated thank you so much i'll see you in my next video peace